This video will show you how to upload an audio file, or the recording of an interview from Microsoft Teams, into Microsoft Word to transcribe it automatically. To do this, you'll need to go to the online version of Microsoft Word. You can get here by going to www.office.com. You'll be able to log in with your University of Hull email address and password through single sign-on. Once you're logged in, you'll get to the screen that I have available here. You'll notice the option for Microsoft Word is on the left hand side. If I click the Word icon, it's going to enable me to create a new blank document. This will open in a new tab. To access the transcription function, I need to go to the Dictate area in the Home ribbon, but instead of clicking Dictate, I choose the drop down arrow and then I select Transcribe. Here, Microsoft Word gives me the option to upload audio. It will now take a few minutes to transcribe my audio file. After waiting a while, I can now see my transcript has loaded. This gives me the option to play and listen back so I can check how the recording has transcribed. Um, hi, so just to introduce myself. Um... Here I can actually go through and add the speaker names as well. So this here is me. I can tick to change all speaker ones to this. Um, my name is Lee and I'm a researcher here at this university um, and thank you very much for agreeing to be one of my participants in my study that's looking at volunteer motivations. I know you've already signed the consent form but can you just confirm you're happy to go ahead with the research? Yes, yeah, sure, I'm happy. So here I can see there's a mistake, it's incorrectly identified the speaker, so I'm just going to click in here and switch this to my second speaker, Barry. That's brilliant. Well, do you want to tell me a little bit about yourself? Uh, yes, yeah, so, uh, I guess I'll... So, here again, I can now set who speaker 2 is. This is Barry. And I'm going to tick change all speaker 2 and then tick. And it will correct all the way down. I can now go through and listen to the entire transcript to correct any mistakes. So, for example, Barry didn't say, yes, sir. He said, yeah. So... To help me edit these, all I need to do is choose Add All to Document. These will load through into my Microsoft Word file. And now I can go through and correct any mistakes. So for example, Yes Sir is now Yes So. I can go through my entire transcript like this and then save and download just like I would any other file on Word Online. This file format is absolutely perfect for data analysis in software like Envivo. As you can imagine, this will save you a lot of time in processing your data for analysis. However, we cannot completely trust the computer. You'll still need to go through and listen to the recording and double check that it's correctly transcribed all of the audio. This is also a really important part of your research process. Some researchers argue that you should still type your transcript because it brings you closer to your data, and it definitely does. So if you choose to save some time by using machine transcription, make sure to invest in the time to read through and really get to grips with your data yourself as well. You also will need to maybe put in some annotations to indicate inflections. There's a very big difference in the way in which participants say something. For example, the difference between, yeah, that's a really good idea, and, yeah, that's a really good idea, is really important, and it's not something the machine can understand. The inflection can convey meaning, and so that's something we also need to take care to record in our transcripts.